Welcome again viewers, what a beautiful day in Cambrils, Costa Dorada, Spain. Not sure about here, let me know if I've missed anything, beautiful beach but. Okay, so I've just walked all the way along from Salou, been walking for miles, we've got some videos coming up showing you the walk all the way along here, a lot of uh, market traders setting up stalls and stuff up there, it's a lovely walk actually right along this promenade, um, I've done the those videos on the DJI Pocket Osmo so they'll be a few days before they're up because uh, I don't really have any way of uploading them here no laptop with me then beautiful here buddy this is a nice quiet part of the beach so I'm not sure about Cambry I think it's too quiet for me um, there's loads and loads of uh, hotels up here I was just in one earlier on it was lovely the best is it Maritime looked really nice inside done a wee video for you up on the channel soon let's take a wee walk to the main street there's some bars around the corner here I don't think I've found the busy part with a strip of bars yet but I'm quite close to it now so we'll wait and see more of a quiet family vibe here down the bottom here we can see we've got a wee kids play area like soft play or trampolines or something down there just full of families Salou and Cambrils probably one of the best family resorts I've been to two cans and calamari two of yours so more of a kind of local vibe in a bit here. Um, pretty good for cyclists if you think, think they're hiring a bike somewhere. Here in Lanzarote, the best places I've seen, they've got, the cycle lane goes all the way along for miles and there's just loads of people on bikes. As I speak, somebody on a bike just comes by. So we're going to take a wee right up here. Um, the main street in Cambrils here, that I've walked up and down, doesn't really have much in it. I, I'm, I'm into a, a restaurant just to have a wee drink there. So two in the afternoon and there's already people in having an Indians. I was like, I love Indians, but even that's too early for me. I just had a wee drink. Molly Malone's, okay. So, sports bar, restaurant. I'm assuming they probably do live music. Wee tobacco shop next to it as well. So, it's a lot quieter here than, than Salou. I think I prefer Salou, 100%. Just my first impressions, I prefer... Um, so they're looking for staff in Molly Malone, so if you're looking for a job and probably you're from Ireland where so you're not curtailed by the Brexit and 90 day rule, then that might be the case. Quite a lot of places I go to, especially Tenerife and that, they've really struggled to get staff in the last couple of years because obviously a lot of UK workers would come over, work, work the kind of busy seasons, then go back and then, then go back over, but it's not really possible now with the 90 day rule. A lot of people have been asking me, Kevin, how do you get around the 90 day rule? Well only do short trips to be honest with you, you might think I'm away all the time but generally in a month you'll be lucky if I'm away more than 10 days out of 30 so if we take that over 90 days you'll be lucky if I'm away 30 days I'm going to, I will uh, go to some non-EU countries soon I was thinking of Turkey but it's too hot just now uh, this looks a nice place, it's called the Beach House doing food there as well there's definitely more bars and restaurants down here than there was further up the way. This does look very nice actually. But 100% a lot quieter vibe down here. Probably at night it's a lot busier. There's a rugby tavern, I think a few people did recommend it in here. They're showing the rugby, funny enough. So rugby fans, all the games on in here. It's quite nice in here actually. Take away food as well. We to burn that, yeah, it looks nice in there. Plenty of TV screens showing it as well. Guinness on draft as well. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Street food to take away. What have we got in here? Showing all the football, obviously, as well. Some of the games have already been. But, uh, yeah, that's a place to watch the sports here, basically. Cambrils. A couple of hotels up here. I think the H10 hotels up here as well. Oh, going to be tapas and pizza place here as well. Inside, you'll see they've got a lot of kids' games and stuff like that. Just really predominantly families, I would say. I don't know if there's any adult only hotels in Cambrils, but every hotel I walked past was mostly aimed towards families. Um, these hotels on this side, I need to get that bus back to Slough actually. I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be at least three miles away by the time I get down here. There's just loads of these shops selling inflatable stuff. Um, is there more bars and restaurants down here? I'm not 100% sure. I don't know whether I want to risk it all the way down there and there's nothing there. Let's go down the side again.
So what I can see, well, first impression is Cambrils is predominantly uh, beach hotels on this front. There's a lot more hotels up to the left that I'm not showing you in this video. But it looks like a quiet, nice family resort. So if you're in a quiet vibe, you've still got a few bars there showing the football and stuff like that. I think probably more than ones have probably got live entertainment on as well. And this beach, if you, I mean, what a beach uh, Salou and Cambrils have got. One of the best beaches I've seen. It stretches for absolute miles. Check out this place here, this is busy. More of a local kind of vibe to it as well. Sunbeds here in the shade. I've not seen any disabled or accessible places here to be honest with you. Um, it's a bit of a shame unless I missed it. I've walked all the way up and down from Salou. Okay viewers, have I missed anything Cambrils? Do I go beyond those bars? Is there more bars? I'm not sure. I don't want to walk too far. Um, but it seems a very, very quiet resort to me. It is busier back there where most of the hotels are. And they've got a few nice beach restaurants and stuff out there as well. But in general, it's pretty quiet. Which, to be fair, if you're in a stressful job, you're coming on holiday and you just want a quiet resort, a lot of people will be like, Kevin, that is perfect for me. No idiots uh, kicking about, causing bother. Oh, I forgot to tell you last night in my hotel, um, I had somebody try to kick the door down in the room next to me. They're making some noise. It's very, very noisy hotel. I don't think I can recommend the hotel planners. You'll see my room review where I say the room, that's fine. Apart from it's missing one crucial thing. Um, but it was just so noisy, the location of it is just unbelievably noisy at the port on the main road. Swimming pool there, the complex. Look at these wee fancier sunbeds down here. That's the first time I've seen these. Because the, the basic sunbeds are, are absolutely extortionate to hire. Don't know if they're as dear here as they are down in Salou. I've done a wee video about the ones in Salou, but these are the fancy ones here. Quite nice here, eh? It has got a nice relaxed atmosphere and vibe to it, to be fair, down here. It has got that. It's pretty busy in there, eh? This place is formidable. <laughs> Title of the video might be, not sure of it here, but formidable ending. That's what the, the title might be, Restaurant and Beach Club. I wonder how much it is for a wee seat there. Look like at the wee tables next to it as well. Oh, it looks nice, it looks nice. Yeah, wee spritz in here as well, what they're doing. Two spritz and a uh, bit of tapas and olives, 20 euros. It's not bad, isn't it? Not bad for that setting there. It's beautiful. Not bad at all, actually. I don't know what else we've got down here. Um, need to wait and see what else we've got down, down the front. I think they've got another uh, kids play area and stuff like that there as well. Lots of families, you see a lot of tents and stuff out as well. It's nice, it's just probably a wee bit too low key for me and holiday. So quite a few of the hotels back there probably get entertainment on at night, so if you're just looking for a relaxed uh, holiday, then I might do the job. I've just spotted another hotel here. Uh, I think that's the hotel Best Cambrils over there. I'll pop in and see that one. You might see a video in there at one point. Okay, viewers. So not sure if this would be a, a resort that would suit me, but I think if you're a family and you just want a quiet, peaceful, relaxing break, or even a couple and you just want a relaxing break, um, this might be a good resort for you. Formidable ending. Should I go into the Formidable Beach Club and get a drink? What a setting is. Absolutely beautiful. I tell you something, the beach here is fantastic. One of the best beaches I've seen in all the trips I've had. Thanks for watching to the end, you're superstars. I really appreciate all your support. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Check out all the videos on the channel. I'm about to go and check out that hotel viewers. I see if it's worth a video. What I do is I walk in and I say, is there any content, is there anything I can film and show you? And so you might see a video that I tell you, you might not. We'll see if there's getting next to it. Okay, for middle ending, goodbye.